Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls, and on occasion plays with paper. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> I loves it. I loves it a lot. I'm going to attempt to show you how to make this pattern. Okay, I got this pattern from somebody linked it. It's from it's an old pattern, okay? This is what I'm trying to say. It's a very old pattern. It used to come on the ball bands of cotton yarn. Mason Dixon Knitting. That's who brought it to my attention again because I had done them a long time ago. So this is kind of their instructions. I will put a link in the description box so you can get this. It says to use peaches and cream, but... I have this. I love this cotton from my ex-mother-in-law. She passed away. I bought her yarn and I'm using this. The most poor important thing is that it is cotton. Although I have made them out of wool also and shrunk them and I digress. This one measure six by seven. If you use the whole 45 stitches, they come out more like nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. I don't think gauge matters, but I just, I love this. Look at the back. Yeah, I like the smaller size. So you need a size seven knitting needles. They don't have to be these long ones. They can be the short ones. Whatever. Okay. It says to cast on loosely. I am not going to use a long tail cast off. I'm going to use a very simple cast on. And I'm going to cast on. How many is it? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 33 for this size. So 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 32, 33. And I can feel a problem coming up in this. <laughs> really. This is how. See it? See that problem right there? There. <laughs> Yikes. Let me get this one out of the way. This is how I knit. I don't know how you knit. This is not a knitting lesson. This is a dishcloth pattern lesson. Okay, so let's look at the pattern. Cast on loosely using A, color A, knit. So I'm going to knit all the way over. So it is day four of my being at home. Martin Luther King Day, yay. Federal holiday, therefore I did not have to work. As you know, I did not work Friday because I was grieving. Saturday and Sunday, I was trapped in the house by the weather. Today, the holiday plus the weather. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Yes, we shall.
Okay, Panky, we are at the end of this row. You are going to purl back. Pearl, 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 don't give your love to Earl. Oh my gosh, this yarn. Why me? Why me on video? Okay. Pearl back. You can speed through this part if you want. I won't mind at all. This yarn is so very soft. See, the next row is where the, the fun starts. The next row. This is essentially, I think they're calling it, is it a 12? How many row repeat? Well, we'll count, we'll count four, five, six, kind of like a six, rep six row. Okay. Do as I say, not as I, not as I ramble. Okay. So there's that. Now you need your, your other yarn. And I like to just tie it, just tie it. Not in one knot, in two knots. Okay. Now, join B, knit four, slip one, purl wise. Okay. So, we're going to knit four with this. One. I like to knit my ends in as I go. One, two, three, four. Okay, now you're going to slip one purl wise. Okay, you know when you knit, you come in like this. When you purl, you come in like this. So you're going to slip one purl wise, which is that. Now knit five. One, two, three, four, five, slip one purl wise. One, two, three, four, five, slip one purl wise. One, Two, three, four, five, slip one purl wise. One, two, I should have started that yarn, <laughs> this yarn, without so much white in. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, slip one purl wise, and you'll end with four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Okay. You're going to continue on with this heavier, oops, your, your B. So, we did this. Join B, knit four, slip one, purl wise, knit five, slip one, purl wise. Repeat to the last four stitches. Now, we're on this row. Knit four, yarn forward, slip one purl wise, yarn back. So let's start with that part. Knit 
knit four. One, two, oh, oh, oh. Three, four. Okay, yarn forward. Slip that stitch. It's one you slipped last round. Slip it and then put your yarn to the back. Then knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn forward. Slip that stitch. Yarn back. Knit five. Yarn forward, slip, yarn back, knit five. Yarn forward, slip, knit five. This pattern is very easy to memorize. Trust me, I know you may think it's a hot mess right now, and what did I just do? Knit four, knit five. Okay, now forward, slip one. End with knit four. Turn your work. Okay, I like at this, on this next row, Twist this yarn up your contrast so it travels up the side smoothly. Okay, now we're going to purl. This is going to make, see, we're making this right here. So you purl four. One, two, three, four, then yarn back, slip as if to purl, yarn forward, purl five, yarn back, Slip as if to purl. It's the same slip stitch you started with. Yarn back, yarn forward, I mean, to purl again. Yarn back, slip, yarn forward, purl. Let's look at it on the pattern. And then I'll finish that. We're right here. Purl four, yarn back, slip one, yarn forward, purl five, yarn to the back, slip one, purl wise, yarn forward, repeat. To last four stitches, purl four. I think in Mason Dixon knitting, they say that if you knit a bunch of these and join them, they make a really cool rug. I think that might be true. And they also say it's easy enough for kids to do. So if kids can do it, you can too. That's my motto. If kids can do it, you can too. Untangle my yarn. yarn out. Okay, is that distracting? Okay, last row on this part. Oops, no, I don't want that. Weave that in later. Okay, now we are at row six, which tells us to repeat row four. Knit four, yarn forward, slip one purl wise, yarn back, knit five. So, Knit four. Yarn 
yarn forward, slip one, yarn back, knit five. If you had a better contrasting yarn, you would certainly see that. I was not thinking when I picked this one, obviously, obviously. We have come to the end, almost, of the first pattern. Um, I can't, that's not what I want to say. The first, whoops, why do I have trouble with this one? The first half of the, of the pattern, yeah, because there's two parts. Okay. So see, we've made those ridges now. We are on row seven, which says using A, which is this, knit down, and row eight is purl back. So we're using we're using this yarn now. I like to snug that first stitch up. Now you're not slipping any stitches, you're just knitting all the way down, including that. This is the slip, the stitch you've been slipping the whole time, you're knitting it. There's the next one. And see what it does? It brings those up. So that's what's making these things. That slip stitch when you finally knit it brings up that vertical bar. So, whoa, doggies, did it get cold last night? And did you see the eclipse? The total eclipse of the moon? I did. And I could see it from my window, but I actually went outside to get a clearer view, and it was like below zero, but that's okay. I got to see it. I, the last time I got to see that, I lived in Colorado Springs. Saw a total eclipse of the moon turns it blood red not blood red kind of orange <laughs> it was a full blood moon full blood super moon <laughs> whatever be more exciting if it happened when it was coming up on the horizon okay <laughs> we have made it okay we are now on row nine using b knit one Slip one purl wise, knit five. Okay, using B, which is your this yarn, you knit one, slip one purl wise, knit five. Knit or slip one pearlwise, knit five. S 
slip one. slip one you should have one left and you knit it this is where it staggers okay so this is where we are right now see how this one was here now this one's over here every five and that's how it gets that brick-like appearance very brick-like Okay, row 10, knit one, yarn forward, slip on purlwise, yarn back, knit five. It's just like before, only it's your, your sequence is different, but the, everything else is the same, same, same. Those my neighbors. I wish I could catch them. Of course, they come down when I'm on camera. I want to give them a little space heater. them out the back door. Uh, I failed at my mission. I could not catch them. Okay. We're ready for, for row 11. We're going to purl one, yarn back, slip one purl wise, yarn forward, purl five, all the way across. Okay, this is the row where you want to bring your contrasting yarn up to catch it. Yarn back, slip one to purl, yarn forward, purl five. Um, after you make one of these, I'll bet you a hundred bucks you're going to memorize it. And if you don't memorize it after the first one, I bet you do after the second one. It's hard for me. It's so hard for me. Okay. Row 12 tells us to repeat row 10. It says knit one, yarn forward, slip one purlwise, yarn back, knit five. So knit one. Yarn forward, slip one as if to purl, yarn back, knit five. Oops. 
I didn't bring my yarn forward. You gotta do that so that that stays in back. The crossover yarn. If that makes any sense. Yarn forward, slip one, yarn back. Knit five. Okay, now you knit down and back, purl back with your start yarn with your contrasting color and you and you repeat. See we are like right there. So then I would knit down and purl back and then I would repeat this where you knit four slip one. So this is a full repeat here, here, here. I ended on this one. So I have this one almost ready. I'm going to go ahead and knit my last repeat and then I'll be back and we'll bind off together. Okay, I wanted to show you this part because I've done all my repeats. Now I've cut this yarn and I'm going to tie it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm going to tie it. Yes, you must let me tie you. Not in one knot, two knots. <laughs> okay, let's just knit down and back on this. And I am going to knit that end in as I go, which consists of putting it over the back. Like so. I can't I can't show you because I can't. Um, but I'm wrapping this around the yarn. Okay, I guess you can kind of see how it's weaving itself in. So I don't want to weave a bunch of ends in. I left I left this in to show you how to how to deal with that. Otherwise, I like to knit them in as I go. One less thing I have to do. And if part of it's sticking out, that's fine. You can trim that off later too. Or it's a dish rag, who cares? Who cares? Ain't nothing but a thing. Be right back. I'm going to finish this knitting and purl back, and I'll be back. Okay, I got a few more stitches to purl. Okay, to bind off, think loose. Loose. <laughs> okay, knit two stitches. With your left hand needle, you grab the first stitch and bring it over. Knit another stitch. Bring that first stitch on there over. Make sure that's loose. This is not the time to stress out and pull this tight. It has to be loose. Repeat after me. It has to be loose. Bind off loosely. Knit one. 
grab the first stitch and pull it over. It's giving me this edge. I hear them again. Oh, success. They already have space heater. <laughs> That's fine. They said they're warm. Uh, that's fine. It's below zero. If you're warm, then I'm happy. Okay, let's continue binding off loosely. Loosely, I say. So when I get this done, I'll show you how to weave that end in, and then I'm going to show you my blanket. You're going to look at my blanket. What I got done on it, it is just a throw. It is not a full blanket like the scrap blanket I made, but I like it a lot. So I've never done a granny square afghan, and now I can say that I have. Okay, almost done. Okay. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. We're almost done. Look out, it's a shark. Okay. Ta da. Put this off. Pull through like that. Get you one big needle with a blunt end. I just could go either way. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. There you have a beautiful ball band dishcloth. You can make them bigger. You can follow the pattern and cast on 45. Um, it's up to you. I just prefer this smaller size. So... I love them a lot, so let's go look at my blanket. Um, there's the jungle. We'll come back to that. There's my there's my blanket. Ain't it cool? It's not the final it's not the final layout because now I'm looking, I see a bunch of pink in the middle, but it doesn't matter because it's a scrap blanket. It's just gonna go across the foot of my bed. But yeah, I ended up joining them into sets of four, like, like that. And that whole row is done, joined together. So yeah, I've been watching The Curse of Oak Island. So <laughs> you want to see my, <laughs> my pajamas from yesterday. Um, I almost let that die, forgot about it in the window. Look at, look at my morning glory. Oh my gosh, January 21st and I have a morning glory. And Shirley, I wanted you to see how, t look how tall this drying rack is. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> please subscribe if you haven't done so.
I guess I'm doing needlework tutorials once a week now. Knitting and crocheting. Whoa, too bright, too bright. Other than that, I think I'm going to make some pages for that. Okay. I thank you. No, she didn't make an inside. Okay. So, anyway, anyway, anyway. Please, if you make if you make a ball band, please somehow share it with me in my Facebook group, my secret Facebook group. It's a secret. Shh. Okay. I love you and I'll see you later.